we got here. Took the rims in to Northwest Wheel and Repair. Last week or so. For powder coating and new tires. Looking good. Let's get some new tires ordered. All right, we're here at Northwest Wheel Repair to pick up new tires for the bus. What's happening, Dave? Looking good. How you been? Excellent. Right on. This thing's looking a little nicer now. Excellent, man. Made it happen, huh? Yeah, Dave's in the front office. Okay, I gotta great. Get something and help this guy out out here. And I'll touch base yeah. with him. Excellent. Good okay. to see you. Good to see you too. Hey, Dave. How are you? Yeah, yeah. Doing good. Just here to pick up those Volkswagen rims. Oh, sweet. Yeah, everything's. Uh, we we have a good time. Sweet. Yeah, I, he touched base. Can you give can you give him a hand load of the BW wheels? Yeah. You got a new shop coming, huh? Yeah, it's gonna be that one across the street with eight filling. No way. Yeah, so we'll have two thirds of that, so good deal. Be, yeah, it'll be nice to have some more space. Yeah, yeah, excellent. Blow this place apart. Yeah, way to keep busy. Thanks right. a lot for all the help on the rims yeah, and the good. tires. Yeah, keep uh, keep an eye on the load index, you're fine, but um, I would just uh maybe they didn't they might not that would be sure you run max pressure, so max pressure on these tires is 44. Okay. So I'd probably bump them to 44 when you put them on the rig. Sounds like a plan, man. I they run them at 35 just as a staple. Good to go. No awesome. stopping me now. I like it. Thanks again. Yeah, came out good. See ya. All right. Where are you? Uh, right in the corner there. I'll pop the trunk. Perfect. And we'll go from there. Uh, it's a 67 split window camper. Oh, there you go. Yeah, and it's been about an eight year restoration effort. It was funny too, the tires that were on it were probably 40 years old, just a bunch yeah. of old mismatched ones. Yeah, I've got some of those sitting in my house. <laughs> If you guys sell hubcap clips. Hubcap clips? Uh, it's a 67 bus, but it's got 15 inch rims. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, I'll check around. Have a good day. No problem. Yeah, there's a couple. Like the 9 millimeter. There's a guy that came in. Well, it's actually Steve Byers from over at uh, Audi. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was restoring the car over there. And I, I think the one he was working on was a little Porsche Boxer, but mm -hmm. there's two ones of clips for even Volkswagen and Porsche. And, okay. And I, I know he was looking for the loader ones, and I think Jerry said he hadn't had any clips at all for some time. Sure. So, yeah, the circle's on, huh? Yeah, you may have to pull through some of the catalog stuff. You uh -huh. might even see an ad for it somewhere in Hot VW Magazine. Ah, oh, that's a good lead. Uh, that. they, they, they have all kinds of little things in, sure. in there, and you might be able to track it down that way. Super, I'll look into that. That's a good lead. And then you just got to get the rivets to go with it to rivet them in. Mm -hmm. They're solid rivets. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to change a lot of those yeah, back huh? when I was doing them, you know. But Did you use a jig or did you for the rivets? No, no I just had a little air. Oh, sure. Just to drive them, you know, huh? and, and uh, put something on the back side and just drive them in. Yep. 
Yeah, unfortunately, and I think I'll move it for soft enough and just do it with a hammer. Sure, that makes sense. You need something with a rounded, you know, a, a convex uh -huh. or concave uh, end on it, and then that way it stays centered on the rivet. Oh, sure. From the back side. So, that seemed like on some of them I used to actually take the, the punch and put it in the vise and turn it, you know, turn oh. it over and then drive it on the back side. That so, makes sense. Hold it steady while you yeah. round off the back side yeah. of the hammer. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. Well, that's a good tip on the magazine, I'll look into that. And yeah, I think the W uh, has little sail things on, on bugs, mm -hmm. and uh, there should be something in there. So. Yeah, and you say there's typically two lengths, so I'll have to figure that out and hopefully get a set order. Yeah, yeah, I. I don't know what they have, four, four of them or so on a... Yeah, it's like five, four, and I brought in a set to get new tires and such, while I have them service the rims too, and then a lot of them, were, most of them were broken off. Yeah. So I used to go ahead and, you know, kind of off. drill yeah. those out so I can get the new ones in there. Yeah, I think the one that Steve was doing, he had the wheels powder coated, so he had them off, but they were bad anyway. Mm -hmm. anyway so I don't know what he did to come up with some, but I hope the W sometimes will have a catalog section in the back of it somewhere, usually with some classifieds type thing. Yeah, there's always somebody oh, that's sure. got, you know, outfits like this, mm -hmm. you know, Carcraft or some of those guys, and, and uh, there's wheels, so let's see if there's any other yeah, yeah, I've got some of the wheels like that that are chrome for some of the rims. I've got some really deep sand rail wheels that I can figure out what I'm going to do because I've got the big wide paddles on it. Sure. I'll do something with those. But yeah, get a hot W magazine and just start looking through, and you know, got to be somebody in there. Yeah, and, you know, even car craft or one of those guys may <laughs> have them. It's not a big enough item that they would probably advertise it. Oh, that makes sense. So. Yeah. I'll look for them, thanks, sir. Yeah, yeah, you'll find some. Really. Right. They're not, not impossible. Right. Sounds good. Have a good day. If the worst comes to worst, you yeah. can get a, some used wheels ahead them, have some orange, sure. throw them out, and then put them on yours. That makes sense. Yeah, there's always an option, huh? Yeah. I was trying to think, all my wheels have the divots in them so that the hubcap snaps into the wheel without the clip. Oh, that's a nice option, yeah. The earlier ones had it, and the later ones, they just started making the just wheel into the, the wheel. hubcap into them. That's mm -hmm. all I've got is that kind. Of yeah, well, these are for 65 and fluid window campers, so. Oh, for a camper? Yeah, when we, uh, I just got some new tires on it. Got good loader in them and kind of an all-terrain tread, so. It's, it's about near the end of that one effort. Just got to clip on there and get those chrome hook caps on. Well, when you get her done, show us. Yeah, and I'll be touching base with you guys uh, for some, uh, either some tune-up work or some help rebuild the engine because it's a smoker right now. So. Uh -oh. Yeah, yeah Jerry, that's what Jerry's doing right now. He's out driving one that he just put together. So. Mm -hmm. He was having a little fun with the ship linkage. Whoever dropped the training out of it did not hook the rod out of where the ship linkage was and, and bent the rod way down. Uh, <laughs> so we tried to stretch the rod out. Dealing with that alignment and stuff, that's pretty fussy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I'll stop back in sometime. Take care. All right, good luck. Thanks. Young's old Volks home. Didn't have the clips, the so search continues. But we got some good leads on it. And big day today. We've got new tires. Picked up some General Altimax 20570R15s, all season radial, and we've got to get the hubcap clips put on. Got them online, and the key is to get them pointed the right direction and on nice and tight with a rivet. So, once you've got them on the right direction, Rivet it solid, and we're good to go. 